Compared to the early fighter jets of the 1940s, modern fighter jets have advanced significantly. The inventive spirit and firepower present in all fighter jet generations, however, from the sophisticated stealth aircraft to high subsonic conventional armaments, remain the common threads. Here is a brief overview of the development of the fighter jet from the Sky Combat Ace stunt plane pilots in Las Vegas. We divide this progression into distinct jet fighter generations. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and press the bell icon. First Generation Subsonic Jet Fighters, Mid-1940s to Mid-1950s The first generation of jet fighters, including the F-86, MiG-15, and MiG-17, were equipped with machine guns, cannons, unguided bombs, and rockets in addition to primitive avionic equipment devoid of radars and self-protection countermeasures. This generation of fighters was characterized by their lack of afterburners and subsonic flight characteristics in their jet engines. Second generation jet fighters, mid 1950s to early 1960s. Air to air radar, infrared, and semi active guided missiles, as well as radar warning receivers, were all introduced into fighters of the second generation, including the F 104, F 5, MiG 19, and MiG 21. The fighters of this generation also incorporated improvements in aerodynamics and engine design, enabling them to achieve and maintain supersonic speeds in level flight. Although air-to-air -air combat was still within visible range at this time, radar-guided missiles began to increase engagement ranges. Third-generation jet fighters, early 1960s to 1970. This generation saw substantial advancements in the avionics and weapon systems as well as improvements in maneuverability. Additionally, these were the original generation of multi-role fighters such the MiG-23, F-4, and Mirage-3. Aerial confrontations extended beyond optical range thanks to the look-down and shoot-down capacity of Doppler radar, off-bore sight targeting, and semi-active guided radio frequency missiles like the AIM-7 Sparrow and AA-7 Apex. The main advancement made by this generation of aircraft was the removal of the requirement for visual acquisition of adversaries in order to neutralize them and take control of the air. Fourth generation jet fighters, 1970 to late 1980s. The development of fly-by-wire fighters like the MiG-29, Su-27, FA-18, F-15, F-16, and Mirage 2000 followed the trend of avionics advancement such head-up displays, and optimized aerodynamic design during the 1970s and 1980s. As opposed to the earlier role-dedicated aircraft, the majority of this generation of fighters could transition between air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations. In turn, this made it difficult to tell strike missions from air control missions. For an half-generation jet fighters, late 1980s and into the 90s, a forced cut in military spending resulted to a constraint on aircraft development, which gave rise to the idea of a half-generation increment. It became more cost-effective to upgrade fourth-generation fighters like the Hornet, Eagle, and Flanker with stealth, radar-absorbent materials, thrust-vector-controlled engines, higher weapons-carrying capacity, and range extensions rather than construct whole new aircraft. A 4.5-generation fighter that evolved from a fourth-generation aircraft is the FA-18E AF Super Hornet. The installation of an active electronically scanned array. AESA radar was a game-changing enough combat capability for these modified fighters to be declared a generation of their own, therefore the Generation 4.5 rating. Some manufacturers created new platforms, such as the Eurofighter Typhoon, Saab JAS-39 Gripen, and Dassault Rafale, that contain many of the sophisticated features of Generation 4.5. Advances in computer technology and data communications also enabled 4.5 generation fighters to be incorporated into a network centric battle space where fighter aircraft can perform multi role missions with much greater flexibility. The AESA radar, for example, enables fighter aircraft to perform a limited airborne early warning and control function. Fifth generation jet fighters, 2005 to date. The F-22 Raptor, which debuted in 2005, is regarded as the next-generation fighter aircraft. Soon after will be aircraft designs such as the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, the Sukhoi Pak FA, and the planned Joint Russian, India Derivative, and the Chinese Chengdu J-20, which is thought to mirror aspects of this generation of fighter. 
A quantum leap in the fighter's lethality and survivability has been required to achieve generational change, and fifth-generation fighters exemplify these characteristics. The advancements over previous generational fighters include nose-to-tail low observable, or stealth technologies as part of the aircraft's design, making it nearly impossible for even other Generation 5 fighters to detect them, improved situational awareness through having multi-spectral sensors located across all aspects of the airframe, allowing the pilot to look through the airframe of the aircraft without having to maneuver the fighter to obtain a 360-degree pie. These aircraft are also born networked, which allows them to receive, distribute and retain information to enhance the battle space picture. Fifth generation fighter capabilities are mainly determined by their software, and it will be the continuing development of their software that ensures they maintain an advantage against emerging threats. With 7 million lines of code onboard the aircraft and another 7 million lines of code in the supporting ground systems, the F-35 contains more software than any other air combat aircraft. To describe a potential danger, the F-35 software employs almost 100 times the number of parameters that a fourth-generation fighter does. Ultimately, a fifth-generation aircraft allows the pilot to maintain decision dominance over an adversary. This increases the likelihood of survival, which, when combined with effective lethality, ensures battle space domination. The future of the fighter jet the demand for innovations in fighter aviation is continual, with the goal of improving speed, performance, battlefield survivability, and pilot control. Several nations are investing in the development of the next generation of fighter jets, including the United States with the Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program, Germany with the Future Combat Air System FCAS program, the United Kingdom with their own program also called the Future Combat Air System, and China, India, Taiwan, Japan, Russia, France, Spain, Sweden, and Italy. Unmanned technologies and remote controls, for example, may be used to improve performance on these modern fighter jets. Stealth technologies and improved variable cycle engines will also take contemporary fighter jets to the next level, when the research is done and applied. What we do know is that the world's most powerful and fastest jet is still on the way. Air Combat Experiences at Sky Combat Ace Sky Combat Ace in Las Vegas offers many air combat alternatives that will get your pulse racing if you wish to participate in an exciting air-to-air -air combat experience. Fly with one of our skilled stunt pilots in Sky Combat, Afterburner, or Operation Reckon and make memories you'll never forget. This was the evolution of the jet fighters. We hope you like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos about the evolution of things. Thank you for watching.